is but a taste of the dark side.
Hello, hello. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I ended up scooping that up on PS4. They did like a, uh, like a, like a HD for it, and I just, I, I scooped that shit up real fast. It was like fourteen, like fourteen dollars. I'm like, hell yeah, give me that shit. <laughs> yeah, I think it's multiplayer on PC. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm glad you called too, man. It's nice talking to you, man. Like, and hell yeah, bro. I'm fucking hyped. Like, I showed Nikki my arm, because the hairs on my arms were standing on end. <laughs> like, I was ready. Oh yeah, I could do that. Yeah, man. You too, bro. It was good hearing from you. Take care. See? Alright, sorry about that guys. I had a friend call me because he was really fucking excited about um about Kotor coming out. Um but yeah, can you guys hear me okay? Mr. Snake Sage I'm so glad you could make it my dude. How are you doing? Can you hear me okay? Can anybody hear me okay? Hello, hello. I know you can't see me. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I appreciate that. Mr. Chubb Mackerel. So, Mr. Chubb Mackerel. I need your assistance, sir. Uh, I need your input, I should say. I need to know which one of these starting classes you think I should go with. Personally, I either like the, the soldier or the scout. Scounders are a little too uh, too squishy. But scouts seem to be decent. What's your take on that, sir? Scout for sure? Okay. I'm thinking scout too. Pretty middle of the road, so it's pretty flexible. I'm gonna need flexible for what I'm trying to do on this ship. Alright, well, I actually agree with Mr. Snake Sage here. I believe. Scout might be the way to go about it. <laughs> that might be the one I go with, actually. Attributes. <laughs> Damn, he's just straight balanced. <laughs> Let's 
see. Strength measures physical power, high strength add modifiers, melee and hit. Okay. Uh, which is important. Characters use close combat weapons. Well, I'm going to be using a lot of lightsaber -y stuff, so yeah. Uh, agility and reflexes. Adds modifiers to ranged attack rolls, blasters, grenades. Use characters' defense rating, making them harder to hit. Okay. Constitution, health and resiliency. So basically, that's your life total. Intelligence. Okay, so little like uh for intelligence it's, it works the same as they kind of did it in um fallout that's that game i love so much wisdom i believe yeah force power so yeah there's that and then charisma it defeats the powers Just talker yeah okay so we're definitely gonna need points and strength. Just enough to at least get that plus two modifier. And with the defense. Wisdom, I think we should at least get... Yeah, we should get a plus two on that. Plus one. Plus one. There we go, so I'm not negative in anything. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do I commit more to anything else? Take points out of something else and put it back in? Again, more focusing on the intelligence, dexterity, and strength, so that way I could just keep beefing up like the amount of skills I learn. Whereas this kind of gives me middle of the road with the rest of the stuff. What do you guys think? Seems pretty solid. It's been so long since I played these types of games. They're fun. And not nearly as laggy as it was when I played that shit on fucking Xbox 360. Balance can't go wrong. That's fair. I appreciate the input. Computer use, oh, that is so useful. Uh, persuade, all of these are really so good, honestly. Let me know if the background noise gets a little too loud, I'll uh, or shut the door. <laughs> oh. So, about repair. Okay, persuade. Um, by stealth, I usually can get around stuff without. Uh, security, yeah. Uh, the militians might be kind of useful. Security and computer use, yeah. I maxed out security and computer use. Okay, so the rest would be... Uh, should I put it in demolitions? You know, demolitions would come in handy the Rancor in this game, because you could just grab all those fucking mines, plant them over there, and just ex make him explode and just run his shit. Run his pockets and then leave. Persuade since you can get mind trick unless you want it for early game. Okay, so that's an extra point in demolitions and awareness. Well, I'd probably actually take the point out of demolitions, put it in awareness. Okay. Stealth. Ah, if I need to stealth, if I need to sneak up on somebody, I'll just use mission. She's got insta stealth mode. 
Suede, you have. Solid to me. Okay, cool. Eats. So you could use medium armor, flurry, implant, master rifle, melee proficiency. Okay. I believe Juhani does well. Yes. Yeah, Juhani's actually not half bad. Do weapon fighting. Uh, I have one that I can use right now. Two weapon fighting is probably one of my favorite things. I love dual wielding. I already have flurry. You <laughs> surely isn't. I just hate her. <laughs> Why do you hate you, honey? Why do you hate the cat lady? I have no clue what this game is, but it looks fun. It is pretty fun. So, actually, they just released a teaser trailer for this earlier today. Um, for a remake of this game. Um... Nope. Uh, uh, where's the delete button? There's that. There we go. Alright. I will admit, the first part of this game is kind of boring. But, once you get past Dantooine and you get your, your Jedi powers... In chat. by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. All right. Ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Oh, Bastila. I heard Bastila's voice in the trailer, too. I'm pretty sure. 
Basta that, uh, was the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, Basta's not an officer, real really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Anders is a fucking beast, bro. You. I'm sorry. You explored the farthest God reaches of the Mando. galaxy. You visited planets I've never even heard of. Give him the Mando armor in this game, bro. He's a fucking beast. He just runs in it's there. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. Big, but now's heavy the time fucking to prove weapons. Just I know you're a scout and not a soldier. Everything. But Bastila needs all troops oh, at her side Tarsk during this is the real MVP, you're right. He is the real MVP. God tier melee, bro. I'll send him in there with like the heaviest shit I have. He'll just go in there and beat Dark Jedi to death. Like that final mission, bro. He was an unstoppable force. I had him and H and K forty-seven, H HK forty-seven. And my God, I miss that little fucker. I don't use him. So hurry up and grab your gear. Yeah. You need Trask. to suit up so we can get out of here. Let's go live forever in our heart. True hero of our story. Okay. That. Uh. Great weapon. And, uh, mm. Did video packing. Yeah. Okay, okay let's something. move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Okay. Go trash. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Yes? I thought it was going to make me switch. It is switch this is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. Yeah, for a second, I thought you were talking All about him. Like, no, not that him. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more a second, combat like, than the no. rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Already happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Let's move out. That door's yeah. locked, and I don't. Ooh, you pick the lock. Guys, what's up? These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. Really? The guy who's a voice actor, Karth, is also mad. Really? I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use Yo. one now before our next battle. Run them pockets. One else's pockets run. We all. It kind of has like RPG elements. You can just pick like what style of attack you want to use. Regular attack, you can use a flurry of slightly less accurate move, or less accurate hits. Um, you do consecutive hits. You do a little less damage than a normal regular hit would, but it's still the damage adds up quick. Containers. 
Man was considered a container. Oh yes. Now we're talking. This the long sword, short sword. Yeah, baby. Thought about doing a um, single, one-handed. I guess this is like a stance that favors it, but I never knew how good it was. Oh, eat this! Oh. Make sure to run around like bodies and shit. Someone getting down with get down behind that door. Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. I think it's actually random. Uh, which one actually wins? <laughs> that Jedi scum. I need a workbench. Well. Yeah, if there's any other goodies I can pick up before I flung into that big pile of planet I get stuck on for a bit. Treated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Oh, slap my ass, call me Sally. Don't do that. Meantime, let's see if we can get some music in here.
what y'all think of it. I'll give it a chance. See what happens. This would be a good one to put in here. I should do this one first. All those tricks will do me no good if I'm dead. I saw an explosion over here. I'm like, yo, what pockets to run? What? Try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go. Oh, trash. No problem. Didn't work. Oh boy. Oh come on, man. Y'all gonna have uh. Y'all gonna have cards. out for the homie. This is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking Karth your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Good. I can definitely believe that and I hope to God that that's really what happened. The, the, the cannon lore or whatever. If they ever do anything with that, they do something cool for them. See, that's what's, that's what's so cool about having this shit, man. Having this remake now. Bro. Now we get to play this. I'm playing this whole thing through. This is probably going to be like how I did with Dark Souls. Where I'm just going to... every a week, every day for however long it takes. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some save way to thin some their some numbers. Stuff. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid we'll to help you. I like the story in this game more, or you but could I like use computer spikes to slice more, into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems no against the Sith. No means that the game's bad in any way. I hope to God that fucking make two again. That'd be so cool. the dream.
That droid is a beast. You didn't need them shields, bro. You save those parts for later. I'm glad I did that. I thought about it. Old me would have been like, yo, bro, let's just soup them up and send them out there. I'm like, you know what? I think he really needs the shields. That's right. He's good, bro. He didn't get hit once. Because right, they were all shooting at me. Psycho swinging swords around at him. Six. Oh yeah, give me that prototype. Hell yeah. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Lucky me. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. Where the last Basilis escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to... My guy, here we go. What's up, beef? Got the free side of New Vegas. Time to get banned from all the casinos. Yeah, bro. What's your luck stat at? Isn't that ten? That's just a ten. Oh yeah, my first playthrough I did that shit just for fun. 10 luck and 10 in. Hell yeah. Ah oh, yes, the standard face with the stool patch. Bro, hell yeah. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth. One of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I thought about the escape pod. using the mullet one, but I couldn't do that. Should not any turn. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. It's just gonna remain relatively neutral. And they've imposed a planet -wide I feel like something needs to be done about yeah, something. I'll take care of it. I saw on your like I said, I'm just gonna do that dark side exploit. A remarkable number of alien for the dark side uh, point glitch. Recruit, but it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. It's uh, no when the two families, the I think, are feuding. Anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off it's this planet, Dantooine. we can't rely on anybody mistaken. but ourselves. Or a planet that looks a lot like it. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was... Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the... Bastila's 
Basila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important. But if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain... You guys hear the music okay? The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's going to escape Terrace, okay. she's going to need our help. And we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple escape, but the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything Poor stupid, Shadow we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. <laughs> That's a little more obnoxious than I intended. Earth is a whiny bitch. I know if I could, I'd fling him out the fucking window right now. <sighs> See these motherfucker? See these right here? Step out of line. Give you a nice real close shave with it. This whiny bitch just ran out of effect. <laughs> yes. Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> Earth, I got a grenade, bro. We can take him. And they're shooting people, bro. That's Jack how we said deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. I told you we'd take him. Should I run everyone's pockets first? Alright. Jawana Bota Ayua Tahunga Chakanki Dora Kachikuita Hodonga Topa da Bungwalia Gando do Nago Chut Chut Musha Papumpa Bola Wana Chute Bamuli Slamo Boda Wanga Kumbes Mulira Rabes Uba Batu Kochi Space Ghetto takes care of their own 
Tongue talks back, tell ya. Said Juju. -ju. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. No problem. Got it. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, dear. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough. No, I don't think so. Tell me what's wrong with you or I'll kill you. Yes. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Everyone is either British or alien and our main character sounds like the fucking Fonzie. No prob. <laughs> Anything else I could do to help? Uh... You think I'll just collect the bounty on your head? <laughs> That's fucked up. Fuck it. <laughs> I think we should do it. Maybe we should collect the bounty on her head. <laughs> Fuck this bitch. Quest lines though. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. That'd be nice. Nice. Guarantee you by later though. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. I can't help you there. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk. Yeah, I got some dark side points because I threatened her life because she wouldn't let me help her. I'm gonna run them pockets, girl. Oh shit. Sure, let me help you, bitch. Tong hai tuam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gondona choo choot. Kachi choo choota dundonga. I can't unhear that. Every time I hear it, I'm just gonna be like, he said. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulira. Here to help. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. That shit cracks me up when they say that shit. Ka chi kun ita hotonga. Ye ki tong abong sha um. Hoping he says it. Chi Achuta. He didn't say the thing. Fucker. Actual vibro sword. See, that's what I need, bro. Oh. Achuta. That's a cell. Not slow, I swear. Give me the little... I don't need that many fucking blaster pistols. Or ion blasters. 
<laughs> we can get him to say it. It can happen. Yes. Oh no. I will not stop talking to this motherfucker until I do get him to say it. Here, first, let me make sure. I have just two regular blaster pistols on on deck. Sure. No fucking reason. Yeah, oh. sure. Exactly. Achuta. This weapon's gonna cost a lot of money. You sure you wanna buy it? Yeah, bitch. Oh, yeah, oh. baby. Achuta. Let's see. Already got the combat suit. Backing up by accident. Oh, son of a bitch. I need 10 more in credits. Good thing. There you go. You got the blaster pistol. I'll keep the blaster rifle. Soon. Just for good measure, I'm gonna have my old armor. Should maybe I should give it to the bitch boy over here. There you go. I'll say I never gave you nothing. Deluxe edition of DS3 is still $85. Jesus Christ. What? PlayStation? No problem. Got it. Pudu. Tony Pudu. Tony Rama na praka donko tsacha. Chupa punky. Oh, I gotta get him to say the thing. Jan Shock Bular, we tam Boragatong Chi Gratu Mujashak Fakhan. You could call no tag of just Stachmik Runda di Hotta Achuta. And he won't say it. Mad. I'm not saying the thingy. I'll get somebody else to say it then. Upper City, or let's make sure we. Might, but other toilets should. That one's just. Oh yeah, hell yeah, no same. No problem. Got it. Dude. One in your pocket, sir. A great day. No problem. Got it. Oh yeah, give me that. Hey there, what, 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 we are walking? I just clean those floors. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned. Mm. You look like an off-worlder. 
What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that make sure you take down Bendak in the arena, too. I was afraid somebody was going to say that. A <laughs> motherfucker. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. This head does make a nice prize. I should get back to it. I don't care about what you say, Janitor Dude. You don't give me anything. Well, now that I've successfully plundered this entire area, I'm going to definitely save. Already fucked up by using a couple level ups though. Oops. Oh, it's okay. I just won't do it anymore. I got the couple that I did need anyway, so it's fine. And if the Sith want to good day, I am a pentacle. I am afraid that is in May I be at any Then, if you will excuse me. Yes, what's on your mind? Waiting for the Achani fiber armor that we all wear until we get off the fucking planet. Whiny bitch alert. Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. Me? But with all that, I've He's never... gonna My skip all of the... his dialogue that doesn't mean... It shouldn't be my... Yeah, no, I... You probably mean well. I'm more used to taking act. Here we go. Still technically did the quest, but I don't have to actually hear him. Both wing. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce you looking to buy some supplies. My shop's the largest one. Mostly. What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. That's neat. Okay. Here's the uh, perma. Oh, okay. Perma creek detonator. Thanks for that. Luckily, I had just enough credits to get it. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Ooh, girl, you, you nasty. 
Body a human one. problem. Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to? My name is Niklos. You know what? If you ever wish to. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to play. I've played Plants vs. Zombies, but I haven't got it. I don't think I downloaded it on my Xbox. Don't get me wrong. I have one. That's why I'm looking. I'm sorry to hear that, but 50 credits is my best offer. I'm practically giving the deck away at that price. If you want it, it's yours. If not, no hard feelings. It was free on Plus last month. Oh man, nope, I didn't download it. it sucks. No, of course. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely. Ooh. Say the sympathetic, but I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation. Tried. Back again? Uh, it's okay. I might have overacted a bit. But can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck up. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our shifts end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for that extra tidbit of information. Now I'm gonna go and steal all her shit. You going shit. into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care much for the bit. Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than you. Thanks. Decent sounding lady. Where did you get those clothes? A trash. Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? What? I'm gonna tell this bitch. How dare you speak to me like that? Dad is going. I hope he does. Show him what these look like up close. Do I know you? No? Then why are you speaking to me? Let me enjoy my drink in peace. And I won't have to run. <laughs> I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, up now. I hope all of you better down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Deny <laughs> Duncan. Deny Duncan. Poor Duncan. He tries so hard. 
gonna get fucked. <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, did I is wah, down wah, again. Wah, wah, wah. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about Such in a suck, bit. Bro. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner. Go the on, winner. He got two fingers, but he only needs one to pull the trigger, baby. I'm sorry, that was horrible. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to... Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the dual. That is. Chang yon toro chiwefa, wala na chinek, ba mule ra kunis king, nilung kagratuk at. Kala dumpa kulpi yaya mo kapata. Chiskani tonga buksha umenom Kara vol pa mlesli Guma nabak mulira Chuni yot Vibro blades and blasters And nobody ever dies How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Chiyo kakol mulira Kien konjo pesha Noba mulira ji Chani yot tora anchi Gurgle the hut. Kava dumpa kulpi yeya moka papa. Kipuna. Ona nakajo. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come. Akuchi kopa. Uchang yon. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Deadeye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. No name. The mysterious stranger. All right, Duncan. I'll do my best to make this quick. It's over. The fight, but real. Are any of us surprised? Dead Eye losing isn't new. Oops, that's a level I'm just gonna stack on there. Centering. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough 
Even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon two fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadow. His injuries have finally caught up with him, or is the mischief? You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the... What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my... Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the... Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken... Oh, well... Thank you, motherfucker. Huh? Oh, money. I love the announcer. Yeah, <laughs> the announcer is great. center ring we have a very special presentation in store for you over in this corner a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins she's cold and quick as death itself you know her you love her ice and in the other corner a rising more nice Holy shit, she beat my ass. <coughs> the stranger is down. Ice wins. One second. <coughs> I can go grab one of those, um... I have enough for an energy shield now. Yeah, I wasn't expecting her to do that much damage. Holy shit. Hell yeah, man. What I'm gonna do is run back out to the shop those those energy fields see if that helps I think that Twi'lek dude said he he sold them what's up you know who you are but you need a lesson on how to teach your social better maybe you're 
Daddy! Yeah, what's up? What'd you say about social batteries? Come here, bitch. Uh. Here. Bro, my fucking sword that you bitch. Arthur, you better get your slow ass over here. Ah, bitch, you want the smoke? Where you at? Shields, yes. That's what's gonna help get me through the damn arena. Absorbs 200 points of damage before you have to reactivate it. It's so fucking worth using. Get any better armor from them. Oh. Light battle armor, medium armor, seven. I remember going through all of this in Arterus bullshit. This armor. I think the energy shield, not having the energy shield, really fucked me up there. Investing grenades, you're right. You are right, because there's this other guy who you, I remember throws the grenades that freeze you, and then he just shoots you. He's an asshole. I got 150 credits. I should be able to buy a few grenades with that, I think. At least a couple. Oh. Uh, I don't need this shit that goes boom. Sonic like grenade, poison grenade, frag grenade. Russian. Get some frag grenades or concussion.
Oh, look at that. Welcome to the equipment imp. Because of this. Extra shit I picked up. She sells security spikes. Another frag, I guess. So it's a feature that's in here. I keep thinking there's like you know two different loadouts. Which mid fight. I think that's you're in two. with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death and in the other corner. Damn. It's over. You two Don't shot me. I'll two shot you. Get what Looks you like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star? Smoke, bitch. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. If you're gonna keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. You don't waste any time, do you? Go talk to Ad. Legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for, but there's always some. Oh, the stranger is down. The mysterious Merle has. See, so this method requires a lot of saves coming, huh? Oof. What's up, Rez? How you doing, bro? Oops, my boy. 
This way of doing things is very interesting. Yo, mama. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend in the sport. A 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a. But there's always. Oh no. That was a way over there. Ah, run. Don't catch me. Ow. The stranger is dark. Merle has the fucker's got it. My number, man. Sucks. Might actually have to use my levels to beat these assholes. <laughs> or that, or I was have to skip it. Oh yeah, that was the one I was looking for earlier too. This one uh, gives you one extra point of vitality every time you level up. So worth doing. Monster Oh my god, look at you. What are you downloading? Pretty impressive, stranger. If you're gonna keep climbing the rank, goodbye, stranger. Sick, hell yeah, it would be. I always give Candorus the uh, Mandalorian armor. Fucking love Ladies him. and gentlemen, and, oh, draw your eyes. He's a legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids, but there's always some. This guy is kicking my ass already. I just... I mean... Hey, we got him. He's a little dirty, but it's we got over. him. The fight is 
moral is down and questions abound. Is this the end for the long time bet? Is it time for <laughs> Mal to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious strange twitch is waiting in the wings? Do you dare take a shot at it? Now I definitely need to go buy more grenades. This guy I'm about to fight is fucking savage. Still save a couple of levels and still be able to use uh, whatever I need. Here, I'll buy this. Hello there, youngster. Okay, Just fifty. Glad to see. You. Good luck. No, of course. Guess I end up playing it later. So Ben Deck. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendik Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit point. Earth. Goddamn mouth. Buy me some more nades. I'm gonna win this. Welcome to because of the Sith. Great. You got grenades. That's all I care about. Mind if I do? I'll take two. More of those. What? Welcome to the because of the Sith. Welcome to the because yeah, of the first she med pack. Ugh. No fashion, I guess. Do -do -do. No problem. Didn't work. Just want to see if it got me anything different. All my heavy weapons, but I have a limited supply of any type of grenade you can imagine. Right? I'm drunk, I like to be bent next to the head. Yes! Check. Alright. Infinite amount of grenades. We take those. <laughs> Yeah, 
Kotiko. Kiyokako. Fight Twitch, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, A moment. <laughs> draw your eyes to <laughs> the center the ring. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion in this corner. Damn, my dude just fell over. Witch. That nade knight uh, doing its job kind of fucked me on that one. It went off, but it didn't stun him. I wonder if maybe it just didn't... <laughs> stun just didn't proc. What? Right here. Add roll. I'm just getting much of you with you things, man. Ladies and hold on to your seats and All stay right, back Twitch. from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the but which is in this corner. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'm stunned. How did I get stunned? Oh no. The stranger witch. That was weird as fuck. Okay. Guess I stunned myself. Saves coming. Ladies and hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn duelist in the cut, yes. which is up in this corner. <laughs> That makes sense. Let's see, I don't think my grenade backfired on me like that. Too. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion, the mysterious stranger. Hey, I won. How is Mama Little Mabucha woman? Buy some more grenades before I go fight Bendak, though. <laughs> Probably fight Bendak and call it a night. It's after two, and I got 
take Nikki to work and then get the car fixed. I keep running in circles. First, I gotta buy my nades. Buy two concussion grenades, just in case. Maybe three. Should've gotten this far at low level in arena. Thanks, man. I actually appreciate that. Welcome to the... Because of the... Si Secret is grenades. Because it's Bendak. Not taking chances. Save. Oh, you already know, Boo Boo. You already know. I've been watching oh, you on the dueling ring. Conehead. Not bad for an amateur. I have to come out of retirement you know and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion. But I only fight in death matches, and not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. I will cut you right now. The next gonna be stress. Be mad stress. Especially, like Dave said, at low level like this. I'm sure more people do the side quests before they other side quests before they come in here and doing all this leech shit. Cantina for now and come back later. Okay, that's fine. We'll fuck off for a bit. Just leave and come back, yeah. Game plays way smoother, by the way. Some rules. <laughs> the game plays way smoother than it ever did on the Xbox 360, man. But I powered through those those really rough playthroughs, man. They dedicated because this game's so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned deathmatch! In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. 
if any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle, Bandic Star Killer. And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! be expected though jibbe da pochan yo jibbe do anani bo ha wa na rota ayo tago ha ha thank you do banai me chus Ladies, they're illegal. Endless corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, and now... Damn, I stood still for too long. What I should do is probably grab one more concussion grenade. If I can keep him in that chain. A little cycle, I had him in there for a minute. Got this. Got this. Got this. We're spamming some motherfucking grenades, but we got this. Poison grenade was definitely a good thought, too. Way I'm consistently doing damage to him. Charge shot was homing. Ooh. So close, maybe he's still low for additional chip. Yeah. I think I have a pistol, but I got a blaster. You know, because of the... Damn, that Sith sniper rifle. Uh, more concussion grenade, please. Shooting this fool, see if it does anything different. Fold the guard. Hold the heart. What does that even mean?
Almost sounds familiar. Remember Coneheads? Yes! Okay, that's what I thought it was from. It sounds like, man, that sounds like something from Coneheads, but I don't know. It's been a hot minute since I've seen that movie. I love the. It was a good movie. I want the motherfucker's head on a stick. They're illegal. Endless corner. A living legend. A man whose Fucking very name would make his ass. opponents shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who would be right crazy now? enough nice. to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Ladies. And now. Oh, one shot. <laughs> I got fucked. I don't get it. Oh, my bad. I won. Roll the dice, man. That's okay. Ladies, they're illegal. Endless corner. A living legend. A man no whose very legend. name would the make his opponent shake that you've ever fucking seen in your whole If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Come on, Ben Deck. And who would be clay? Between me and sleep and now. right now. Alright. Oh, no. No, no, no. Go into the poison. Some of that. Oh shit! It's awake. Another one. Another one. Another one. Eat that bitch. Ah, suck it. We're getting there, damn it. She paid a good job. She paid a good Ladies, they're illegal. Endless corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> and who would be lady? And now, oh, damn it. I can get him, I just gotta run. No sleep till bed. <laughs> yes, no sleep. Incendiaries. He's out for blood tonight, bro. He ain't playing. Yeah. Ladies and they're illegal. Endless corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive, <laughs> and who would play the and now? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. She did good job. She did one. Ladies, they're illegal. Endless corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. 
If any of them were still alive, we're here in solidarity <laughs> for it. <laughs> and who would be crazy? And now, the most. That's the eye on grenade. I think they have a frag grenade too. They have all the grenades, bro. Oh fuck, I didn't even see him throw the grenade. Shit. Whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots if any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who would be played? And now, Oops. Damn. Well, maybe if I just get the blades out and just rush them. Right? Glory rush! Right? I'm just gonna rush him down with that shit. Ladies Stun him. Illegal. Rush corner. him down. A living keep legend. Those nades. A man whose very name right. would make his opponent shake yeah, in their up. boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who would be played? And now. Yo, this man stun proof. Hate your face, Bendak. He hates mine more. <laughs> Hello, I par with Granada. See, I'm not sure either. I thought maybe I did get hit by one of my grenades because I threw a concussion grenade at a guy and I ended up getting stunned. But I wasn't sure if maybe it was just because he stunned me. Honestly, yeah, I mean, it would make a lot of sense. Oh, bitch. Damn. He doesn't seem to mind to throw grenades at close range, so maybe they're maybe we're onto something here. Come back after Ladies I've done a few more side quests and leveled up a little bit. Corner, a living legend, a man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. 
if any of them were still alive. <laughs> and who would lady? And now. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Good lord. I don't remember it being this difficult. I remember it did take me quite a few tries, though. Like, when I can get in there and do some damage, have kind of a chance? Right. Give it one more honest attempt. Remember this fight took me hours? Yeah, I can believe it. Ladies, they're illegal. In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent save shake every hit. in their boots. Oh, if any of them were still alive, <laughs> and who would lady? And now, man is immune. He's straight up adapted. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to do something else in the meantime. Fine, I'd come back to it. Nothing says I had to do it all at once. Shame, it's a really shame, Twitch. I wish I would have gotten more uh more experience out of you, bro. Damn, I need a lot more experience to level up to. Look. Shit, nine levels for Jedi is worth it though. Yeah. If I end up not being able to do it that way, that's fine. Alright, Captain, I'm gonna hit the rack myself tomorrow. We'll plan something. Alright, bro. You have a good night. Yeah, we'll definitely get something going on. I'm off tomorrow. You have a good night, bro. Take it easy. Thanks again for the Prime sub, bro. I really appreciate that. Blame me if you have to do it off screen. Eh, I guess so. It takes the fun out of it. Yes, what's in your mind? Karth. I guess I did say you. I don't know. I don't have a. No, I was just joking. Let me ask you something first, though. Some things just don't. Have... True. Bastard. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, we didn't choose that battle, come to think of it. It's make it makes it all the sweeter, you know? Not at all. I just think it's a bit odd that someone who got added to the crew roster at the last minute just happens to be one of them. You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested the Jedi requested numerous. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, you're. Fr I'm probably wrong, and this is. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you, but. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tempted. We'll talk about it, but...
fight your card, please be foreshadowing. Bum bum bum. North Upper City. Davik says you missed your lap. <laughs> Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. Sorry, you're out of time. But I don't have that much. <laughs> no, help! So I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just... Hold on a second. Looks like we got... Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life now, I can't pay him back. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can... I'm getting out of here before. Yay, experience. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where. You mean you're not? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. I've been hiding here ever since, but sooner or later... Thank you! You've saved my life! At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. I'll just kill Davik.
Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Your fucking lightweights. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything, I swear! There's a way to keep... J Techno Sith at your service. <laughs> A way to keep the Sith armor. I remember it. That's all right, man. It's still a uh, pretty cool looking armor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop for now. It's almost three. That said, I'd stop 40 minutes ago. <laughs> but it's been really fun. Um, I'm glad we had the chance to do this. I'll definitely be doing more of this uh, the next time I stream. Um, I'll probably stream some. Uh, I do some Diablo with Dave tomorrow too. Yeah. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.